This video is sponsored by Uppercut Deluxe. What's going on? I'm James from Cutthroat Amsterdam and we are at our new shop here in The Pipe. The pipe, is that like a, a do you smoke the pipe or is it a pipe? No, you don't smoke any pipe uh, <laughs> around here. It's just a neighborhood um, famous for the Heineken Brewery. It's going to be popular for Cutthroat Barbershop. Yeah, it's well. very, going to be very popular for Cutthroat Barbershop. This is actually very different, isn't it? From Yeah, we've come a long way from the first shop um, uh, on the barber shop with the coffee and, uh, and um, uh, three four barber chairs there. Uh, and we moved that shop to Burstplein uh, in the uh, Stock Exchange building, centre of Amsterdam. And then we got the opportunity to take this shop on and it was uh, completely blank canvas. These are the original chairs from our first cut throat. Oh, wow. Um, now, they weren't blue before, they were they? They were not blue before, so we got wow. them reupholstered from 1919, 1914. Uh, Koken, these are from Spain. Um, and if I remember the story behind this one, you actually, didn't you buy it at an auction and had to like, yes. truck it out or something? We, <laughs> we bought them on uh, online in Spain. We, they arrived uh, the day before we were supposed to open the shop and they were covered in Every, like just filthy, so we had to uh, clean them up, get ready for the for the, for the first day of opening. Uh, but now, yeah, they're antique uh, collector's items. They still work, still comfortable, especially with the new um, the new new uh, uh, padding. So um, you know, we're really really happy, and the um, the light blue uh, really sets the shop off. So there are I, I don't think I've ever seen the light blue on a barber chair. No, um, or at least yeah, the designer Lisa, she's done a really good job. Um, so, so what, I mean, you intentionally tried to do something a little different, yeah, than the, yeah, the last yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we're not into mirrors leaning against walls and toolboxes. Um, <laughs> we wanted to set something up that was, uh, you know, it's going to stand the little, test of time. Yeah, when we're looking in here, it has, you know, you got that old school, but then it does have this kind of more modern European Mediterranean or, or, or has, yes. it has some kind of feel to it, yeah? So what, what, why did you come up with that, or why? Um, well, the whole the, the concept for the shop is sort of like Mikasa Sukasa, so we've got the kitchen, um, full kitchen facilities, um, we've got a barbecue area outside as well, so guys can really feel at home, and girls, uh, everyone's, uh, all partners, everyone's welcome. The, with the original shop you did, I mean, you just, you pretty much, pretty much got out here from New Zealand not too long before that shop, yeah? Yep. And, um, and then, I think you were, you were kind of like a little unsure, optimistic, hopeful for what, what might happen next. And then, yeah. you, then you got the, the nice uh, space at the uh, Dock Exchange building. I guess, did you just reach a point in, in your career or, or your kind of business development or something where you said, yeah, you know, we want to do something that's a little different, a little bit more of a, yeah, a challenge in a way, be... a little, maybe a little bit out of your safety zone. A little bit, yeah. I mean, um, you know, there's a, there's uh, in Amsterdam's changing. There's a hundred barber shops now in Amsterdam. There's a lot of competition, so um, you know, we wanted to sort of stick our necks out again and, and um, put something uh, new, uh, fresh, um, but still with the same uh, cutthroat quality standards. Um, we've still got some of the original guys from the uh, first shop. So there's, there's still a connection uh, back to those days, which is really, really cool. Especially here in the shop, we've got Robbie, uh, who's managing the shop, and he started with us in 2014. So um, that's, uh, that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of like, um, if you're gonna do something, let's do it properly. And, uh, so uh, do, you, do you actually work in this one much? I or? do, yeah, I do a couple of days. A couple of days. Couple so of days so I mean, when, when you come here, and um, and stuff. Do you get a different feeling than the well, other no, shop? No, I actually got the same feeling as the first shop because oh. um, the first day I worked there, I had six guys who uh, came that hadn't been to the um, city centre shop, but did come to the original shop. So that was a bit of uh, that was pretty cool. That they, they you know they don't like going to the city centre and uh, they live in this area and they saw us were here and they thought, well, well, we'll come back. And that was that was pretty cool. That was a lot of like a because I, I remember the original shop. It was like. It was cozy, yeah? Yeah. It was very cozy and so do you feel like this is going back towards that little more community yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, like definitely. I think one know. thing from COVID, um, you know, in the city centre you're lucky you've got always got a stream of tourists, um, which are fantastic, but 
to sort of double down and, and focus on, on, on the tourists, the locals, um, not just the Dutch, but also the expats that live in Amsterdam. It's been, um, COVID's been a, a blessing for that. Um, and yeah, especially this shop, like uh, it's been really cool to get some old clients back as well from the original shop. I do notice you have some stuff back here. Yep, we work exclusively with Upcut Deluxe. Nice. Um, since, the, since the start, uh, we've been with Upcut Deluxe, obviously we know the guys from, from back home, um, all them being Australian us, New Zealanders, so there's been a close bond with us uh, in Upcut, yeah, since 2013, so... Um, what is the most popular product, Upcut product, do you think, in... Uh... At the moment, the matte pomade, um, I would say would be the most popular, well, that I notice anyway, um, because you can sort of mix up yeah, both styles, best of both worlds really. You can texture um, the cuts up, you can also um, put a bit more ruin in and where it's slick. So um, it's nice smelling, medium hold, uh, a little bit of shine. So um, yeah, I think that the matte pomade would definitely be the, uh, be the number one. Do you wanna try some out? Let's do it. the road. Let's dip in the box. What was that? Don't step into my office, mate. Uh, <laughs> no, unfortunately not. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is, um, you probably, you don't look like the kind of guy who wants to uh, blow wave his hair. Uh, so I'm just going to wet it down. Take a little bit of the Uppercut Deluxe Matte Pomade. You don't need too much of it. That should be about enough for your hair. And um, start sort of, rub it through three hands. Start a little bit at the back and then work your way to the front because you don't want to clump up the, uh, the front too much. And uh, you've got two options, you can either have it loose just with your fingers, or you can uh, grab a comb and uh, tighten it up a little bit through the sides. So is it pretty easy to do on your own, kind of? Yeah, I mean for you, just get your hands and just push it back and then if you want to, um, where it's selected and then, then comb it, otherwise I just whack the comb a little bit through the sides and uh, keep it a bit loose with the top and um, it's a uh, medium hold, a little bit of shine, so um, you know, um, that should last you the whole day. You know? Wow, so that took like 30 seconds or something and it'll last all day? 30 seconds will be more out of your life. I know, it's worth the investment, isn't it? <laughs> it is about it. <laughs> cool. And it feels good. Feels good? It feels good. I mean, it's clay, but it doesn't feel no, 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 no. It's, um, it, will, it will harden up a little bit, but it will keep you shy, so yeah. Perfect. Cool, man. Thank you very much. I'm ready, brother. I'm ready to head for town, man. Ready to the town? Yeah. Good to see you. Yep. Almost more than that. Always cool. a pleasure. Have fun there. Thank you, man. We'll see you in eight years' time. Eight years is the next about right. Yeah. Okay, hopefully I'll have some hair on my head then. <laughs> have I think you'll be alright. You'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Alright, bro. Cheers, man. To check out Uppercut Deluxe, visit the link below in the video description and get 20% off your order by using our promo code HaircutHarry.